Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to run real-time record selection in Avaya Proactive Contact. Prior to Proactive Contact 5.0, if you had to change your record selection while the job is running, you had to stop the job, change your selection criteria, rerun it, and then start the job again. But from PC 5.0 onwards, you can do that runtime while the job is running. So as you can see, I have a monitor application open and there is an OutBND job already running. You can see the status as active. If I do a right click on this job, at the bottom you will see these new options, selection record, selection results and selection sort. So we'll see how to use these. But before that, I want to show you the different windows that I have open for this demonstration. As you can see on the above window, I have the account lock tailed and the other window is the mid-tier lock tailed. I also have a jobmon screen open and I also have the info.stat file on the other window. So we'll see what goes into these lock files and how the jobmon screen reflects the changes that we do from the monitor application. So on my jobmon screen you can see I have one agent logged in. The number of records selected were 20 and currently there are 19 phone calls left because the one agent that is logged in is on the first call of this job. So now let me go back to the monitor application. So on my monitor application, I do a right click on the running job. I click on selection records. And then I get a small window which shows me the current selection criteria which has been put on the calling list fields for this job. If I want, I can change it from here. I'll do a add record and then I will input a new selection criteria here. I input the selection criteria which is working in an AND operation with the earlier one. I click OK and then it comes back with the results. It tells me that it selected 10 records this time out of the total 20. Now at this point, this selection has not been made live on the job. I'm still being given option whether I want to use this selection or I still want to edit this selection. I also get a checkbox if I want to use this selection and if I want, I can revert the current hit rate of the job to the original value which it would have started off with at the beginning. We'll use this selection. I'll click OK. And as you would see in the account log, it tells me that it ran the runtime selection. The name of the selection was all for job out BND and it selected 10 records. In the mid-tier log, it will show me that it ran the real-time record selection for list one and the index file was 390. This matches with the account log entry which shows the same index number that it created when it ran the selection. Let's check the job mon screen now. In the job mon, earlier I had 20 records selected, now I see 11. It had selected 10 records on the latest selection that I ran and which I made live on this job. And on one record, the agent was already on call and hence it is currently showing me 11 records selected. At the bottom, it, it is also showing me that it processed the index file change. In the info.stat file, I will see an entry indicating that it changed the index from the earlier one to 390 this time. So that means it's following a new index file to call out records now. And we'll quickly look at some other options here. I'll do a right click on the job and this time I will choose selection results. In the selection results, it gives me the list of the completion codes from where I can change the completion codes that I would have selected on my selection earlier. I can select new or deselect the ones that I had selected earlier and then I can run the selection again and then make a choice whether I want to make that selection live or not. I'll cancel this for now. Similarly, I have selection sort. Here I can add new entries to sort the selected records. Let me show you how that works. I'll add a new row. Let me give the name of the field maybe as balance and order as ascending. I click OK. It comes back with the results and then again it asks me whether I want to use this selection or edit the selection further. 
let's say I choose to use this selection I'll click OK and in the job on screen you can see that the records selected have again increased now because there was a new selection made in the info.stat file I again see a new value for change index there is a new selection that was created so for troubleshooting purposes you should check the info.stat file and look for the change index parameter to see if there was a selection change made while the job was running and you must note that the changes that you make from the monitor to the selection criteria they are not made to the actual selection file in the dialer so the selection file remains unchanged it's only that on the running job you are changing the selection criteria and attaching the new selected records to the running job itself that concludes the demonstration Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, please write to us at mentor at or at Mentor on Twitter.